For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your post, Tom Rainier. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. You're afraid? Of course I am. Corypheus possessed that Grey Warden at Mithal. What more is he capable of? It's only a matter of time before he retaliates. We must draw strength wherever we can. When the time comes, you will be thrown into his path again. Andraste, preserve me. I must send you to him. There's nothing to worry about. I have luck on my side, remember? <laughs> That's less comforting than I'd hoped. Whatever happens, you will come back. I certainly hope so. The thought of losing you... I can't. It's here. I can feel it. 
Are you certain it's still in one piece? I'm sure it's here. Just keep an eye out. There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come. Without mercy, without fear. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice, but this is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared, and they had no one to speak to. Do you need to do this alone? Don't go too far. I may need your help if there's trouble. You will perform this mysterious summoning alone, Inquisitor? Very bold. Just couldn't stay away, could you? I am eager to see what manner of creature responds to your call. Who would not be? The voices say it will be Mithal. And what is Mithal, beyond something thousands of years dead and gone? They say you can remain. How very hospitable of them. You know who I am. The last to drink from your well of sorrows. Come to me, Mithal. Whatever you are, whoever remains, I invoke your name and your power. Mother. Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? I take it you know her. She is a deceiving witch! Oh, be a good lass and restrain her. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? Then you are Mithal? That's Mithal. You invoke that name so easily. I wonder if you know what it means. I do not understand. How can you be Mithal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since. Seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me. No more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. So young and vibrant, you do the people proud and have come far. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth.
If Mithal is a part of you, why haven't you helped us? We've called to you, prayed to you. What was could not be changed. What about now? You know so much. You know not what you ask, child. The new Mithal and Morrigan's mother. As well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool, old woman. Oh, if only that were so. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be, until now, it seems. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mithal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. We summoned you because we need your help. Against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Inquisitor. I can help you. The altar's guardian will come. Master the dragon, and it will be yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Now I have, and she is free to go. But what of us? A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now am rather pleased you drank from the well. All this had better be worth it. You will discover that shortly, I suspect.
wouldn't have believed it. Why did it fly off? Will it come back? It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. All you need now is Corypheus and BAM! Dragon fight. Give me, Inquisitor. For personal interest, I have relieved Josephine, as you might expect. Knight Templar Samson, general to Corypheus, traitor to the Order. The blood on his hands cannot be measured. His head is too valuable to take. Kirkwall, Orlay, many would see him suffer. I can't say I'm not one of them. The headman's axe isn't enough? That's an impressive amount of ill will. The Red Lyrium will steal your vengeance. You know what it does. Corypheus only delayed my corruption. Are you still loyal to that thing? He poisoned the Order, used them to kill thousands. Templars have always been used. How many were left to rot like I was after the Chantry burned away their minds? Piss on it. I followed him, so Templars could at least die at their best. Same lie as the Chantry. The Prophet just isn't as pretty. Coward. You pretend you had no choice, but you could have fought. I fought and lost long before Corypheus. Your commander thinks he knows what that feels like. Well, he's wrong. You were always weak, and your leadership proves it. Every one of those Templars would have suffered until nothing was left, and then be forced to kill and die. I gave them hope, just like the Chantry, just like you. I'm weak, and you're a savior. Do what you want. I'm done talking. We could use more friends in the free marches. We'll barter you there. Samson, you will be given to Kirkwall for judgment. Let your punishment alleviate the loss of their champion. Do as you will, Inquisitor. Your kind always does. 